Welcome back to the 11th lesson in the same module of polynomials. The lesson is about using the distributive property. Let's look into the learning objectives. They are to factor polynomials by using the distributive property, factor polynomials by using the distributive property and grouping. Uh, only two of them. Okay, it's it's not a diff uh, it's not a very difficult lesson, and it's not just very easy as well. But there are various ways to solve this lesson. So you need to be sharp in analyzing numbers, getting the common factors, and once you're thorough with this, it'll be an easy lesson. But the most important thing is practicing more problems. You will not get it by just practicing watching this video or practicing few problems. Please practice extra problems and you'll be thorough on this topic. The keywords are factoring, factoring by grouping. We will look into what it is, factoring by distributive property. You can see over here, uh, 3y, 2y plus 5, you can multiply this with each of these factors by distributive property, You're distributing this to both, and you'll get this answer, right? Now, you can use also use the distributive uh, property to factor it out. What does this mean is you're getting, see, from this, you're getting to back to the, back to where you started. From the end result, you're going back to where you started. That means you need to find a common term. We know from here now 3y was common, so we need to take out common. And then you can factor out this is common out. It's, it's like, you know, if you have 2x plus 2y, 2 and 2 is common, so you can take it out and the bracket will be x plus y. Okay, so whatever is common can be removed from there. You're not doing any error. Basically, if you multiply this 2 inside, it'll be 2x plus 2y, isn't it? But now, since it's the same thing, you're removing out and writing brackets only for what are not common. That means 2 is common in both, so you can write it as a grouping. So the same thing is done over here. But now you might be wondering, how on earth will I get this 3y, you know? That is what we will learn now. Let's, uh, look, into, let's look into this problem. It's uh, detailed over here. You have 12a squared plus 16a. What you need to do is find the terms, find the, uh, you know, you need to factor out. That means LCM, like, you know, you need to start with the least numbers. The best way to understand this is, you have the number 12, right? Start with the least multiple, which is the lowest number that can be multiplied to this, or divide, sorry, it should be divided by this. It's two. Every even number, you need to start with two. So, okay, you start with two. Two, 12, two, uh, how much will remain? A six. Now, which is the least number? Again, it's an even number, so two. So, uh, six divided by two, it'll be three. Now, can you divide anything further? Yes, you can divide this by 3 itself and you're remaining with 1. So now, this 1 is not written. These are the factors. You can see, this is how you start with the lowest number, you start dividing with the lowest number, and keep on dividing with the lowest number to the quotients, you know, and then you will get the factors. Now, the factors over here are 2, 2, and 3. Now, what about A? Just split them. A square means A into A. That's what is written. Now let's do the same procedure with 16. Since it's an even number, you should start with two. What's remaining? Eight. Again, go with two because it's an even number. And then again, go with two and you're remaining with last two, okay, one. When you are coming to one, stop it. So it's two, 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 and two. So how many twos are there? Four twos are there. And multiplied by A. Now, which are common? Where can you see the common terms? 1, 2, 1, 2, and A and A. So, you're basically underlining the common terms. And now, these can be removed out. First, multiply the common terms. Uh, I mean, solve the common terms. That, uh, these are removed out. 2 times 2 is 4A. 4A is removed from here. That means these are gone. And even over here. What are you remaining with? You're remaining with 3a and over here, this is from 2a square plus, what is remaining over here? 2 times 2 is 4. What was removed common out? 4a. This is how we do it. So now we know 4a is a multiple, 
Yeah, 4a. 4a is a multiple of 12a square and 4a is a multiple of 16a. So we can write it like this. So the greatest common factor over here would be 4a. This is the highest, uh, greatest common factor, GFC, means what? It is the highest term that can be common in both of these, okay? That there can't be more than 4. It can't be 5a or 5a squared. No, because there's only a over here and there is a squared. So that doesn't mean you can remove a squared out. No, that wouldn't be proper for the second term. So this is the greatest common factor. And now you can uh, split it out by using distributive property. This is 4a outside. You can write it directly instead of, you know, what they have written over here is the first term is 4a times 3a and then 4a. You can write that, otherwise it's understood. You can just take the common greatest common factor out and write it in terms of 3a plus 4 grouping. So that is the answer. Same thing can be done over here. Please try to do it by yourself. You need to practice more and more problems over here. And what, uh, I will start now with the explanation of this. What I feel is easy is just focus on the numbers over here. So it's 20 over here. Let me do this 22 goes. It'll be 10. Whenever there is even number, just start dividing by 2. And there is 5. Now, 5 is not divisible by, uh, it's divisible by 1, but that's not the thing. You can't divide by 2, 3, 4, or 5. This is a prime number, so leave it over here. It's a prime, right? So leave it. Now, what about 45? So let's start with, see, you can't divide 2 over here because it's an odd number. What about 3? 3 multiple, yes, 3 times 15 is 45. Now, what about 15? Again, 3 goes. 3 fives are 15. And now you can't go, it's a prime number. What about 35? So one, two, three doesn't go, four doesn't go, five goes in this, five is common. Five how many times? Seven and seven is a common term, so you can't. So now these are all the factors of these numbers, okay? Now what we do is, we need to see which is, see, basically you're splitting like this, two, two, five, and this is very simple, x square, y square, x, x, y, y. And what about this? Okay, I forgot to tell you one important thing, minus. So whenever there is a negative sign, you add minus one, or you can just write minus, that's also fine, but you should remember to add the sign negative, okay? Because it's minus 45, when you're, uh, I just did the numbers, but just keep in mind, minus will be there. Three, three, five, and over here it's, okay, now the thing is, there was the printing error. This is supposed to be x squared, not y squared. I apologize for that. It's x and x and y. And lastly, what do we have? We have negative 35, so minus 1, 5 and 7 by the factors, and x squared, that's x and x. Now you can see the common terms. Now from here itself, I can see from these, 2 is not common everywhere, 3 is not common, only 5 is common. So I can remove 5 outside. And what else is common? X, X, X is common. In fact, X to the power 2 is common. There is 2, X2, two, X2, two, X to the power 2. So I can remove 5, X squared out. What does, what remains? If you remove 5, just divide 5 from through, uh, throughout this. F 20 divided by 5 will be 4. X squared is gone. So basically this, whatever is the greatest common factor, you're dividing everywhere. 5, X squared. This also 5, X squared. 5x squared. So what's remaining? 4x squared cancels out and y squared is remaining. Minus sign. Again, 5 nines are 45. x squared is gone. So y is remaining. And minus x squared is gone. What is remaining? It's 7. So this is your final answer. Okay, so the greatest common factor. Instead of writing all this step, you can just directly come to the final answer. 5x squared, 4y squared, this is supposed to be y squared, minus 9y minus 7. This is how we get it. I'll repeat again. For all the numbers, you need to factor it out from lowest number. Start with 2 if it is an even number. If not, then see which is the factor. It will be 3 or 5. Then you need to, you need to bring it down until you get a prime number. Say 
phi uh, it's like one two three phi seven and so on these are all prime numbers so you need to get it down to prime numbers and then you need to see what is common phi is common over here and everything so that's why we use this phi and then what is common in terms x square was common we remove it out and we then just divide it with all the terms so you're remaining with 4y squared minus 9y and 7. This is how we factor it. Now, what about these? See, if you are thorough with this, for now you cannot do this, but with some practice, you can look into these numbers. See, if you know the tables of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what, what I mean is, uh, say, 10 times, uh, not 10 times, 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27. If you know these tables, you know. So I remember when I was very young, we used to memorize these tables. When, you know, in a cycle 1 from 1 to 10, and then cycle 2, 1 to 15, I guess, then by cycle 3, we had to know till 20 at least. I mean, if you know the method, it's enough. So this was very important. Why? If you know the tables by heart, I can easily tell 11 is a factor over here. 11 3 times n square and 11 goes 11 times in this. So tables really help you. The tables in the sense 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2. This is the one I'm telling. We used to call it tables. So this is uh, very crucial. So now directly I can jump because I know 11 is a table, 11 is a common factor in both of these. And what about n, n cube and n squared? n squared is common in both because n cube is n squared times n. So I can remove this n squared out. So the greatest common factor would be 11 n squared. So divide both the sides by 11 n squared. You will get 3 n minus 11. This is your answer. Yes, that's the answer. So this is a way you can solve problems. Now over here, I know 2 is common. When I look at this, I can easily tell 2, but is there anything else? If I take 2 from here, it'll be 3. That's a prime number. 2 over here, 5, and 2 over here, 7. So 2 is the uh, greatest common factor in these uh, three numbers. So 2 is a common factor. What else? A is there in all, a to the power 1. Okay, now what about B? B is not there and C. Okay, so this is the greatest common factor, 2AC. So 2AC is outside and now in the bracket what remains? 7AB squared. That's it because C is gone. You have to divide this throughout all the three terms. Minus 3. Now I'm not sure the squared is for C or A. I think um, I think it is for A, so I'll write it as C only because 1 C is gone. Plus 5 A and C is gone, so you're just writing 5. Let us see now. Yes, it was for C squared, so you're remaining with 3 C only. This is the correct answer. So if you know the tables and if you can analyze, when, when, I, when you look at this, you need to start thinking what's common. Okay, 2 is common. What else? A and C is common. And then start solving it. Here we have a real world problem to use factoring. The 1980 eruption of Washington's mountain St. Helens had an initial lateral blast with a velocity of 440 feet per second. The expression 440t minus 16t squared models the height of a rock erupted from the volcano after t seconds. Factor the expression. Now, all this information is just for general knowledge. All they want you to do is factor this term. How do you factor this term? It's very simple. Use whatever we just learned in the example one. What is a common term? Now, we hear... Uh, it's, uh, let's do the, you know, factoring method. Um, I know four, 4 goes easily because I know 4 4s are 16 and 400 times is 400 and 10 times is 40. So 110, 110 and 4. And then again, 480. Okay. Uh, anyways, let's, let's do this. This is the best way. Now, we are to start from the least to... Now you're remaining with 220. Again, you should go with 2. You're remaining with 110. Go with 2. You're remaining with 55 now. Now 3 doesn't uh, three doesn't go. 4 doesn't go. It'll go with 5. So 5, it would mean 
it is 11 and that's a prime number we stop what about 16 2 goes in 16 how many times 8 again 2 goes how many times and before 2 goes over here 2 times and that's a prime number I mean uh, since it's divisible but I just write like this so 1 you can stop over here itself like this you can stop over here because 2 is prime number it's 1 so you can add you can consider all these so there are three twos over here and there are three twos over here so these are common and these are not so what you, you what you can write common is two times two is four four times two is eight so eight is common in this and what are you remaining with 11 times 5 is 55 t minus 8 is removed from here what is remaining 2 t squared okay i forgot to write the uh, variable let me write it 8t is the common factor it will be 55 minus 2t this is the final answer so let's just double check the answer it will be 8t bracket 55 minus 2t that's it you can do it in you know writing all the variables and everything but if you do it only for the numbers it's enough because the alphabets the variables it's easy you know and then see over here group them these are gone so what is remaining 5 times uh, 5 times 11 is 55 2 is remaining in the next term and write them accordingly i hope you're getting the hang of this if you're if you're still finding it difficult you can go back and watch the few what's the initial uh, problems again and then the best thing is you need to try solving problems by yourselves that is the most important thing in this now let's see another check problem. A golfer hits a golf ball with a velocity of 112, 15, uh, 112 feet per second. The expression 112 t minus 16 t squared represents the height of the golf ball after t seconds. Factor the expression, you have to just factor it out. Again, we can do 1, 1, 2, 2, it will be 50, 56 over here. And then again, it's even number, so it will be 25 plus 3 is 28. And then over here again, 2 will be 14, again 2, and it's 7. 7 is a prime number. You can just divide by 7 itself, but leave it away. 2, 2, 2, 2, 4. What about 16? We just now did, there will be 4 twos. 2 to the power 4 is 16, that's why. Over here 2, it will be 4, again 2, and 2. So 4 twos, these are common. Look, these are common. So what happens over here is 4 times 2 is... Uh, over here, you, are, you can just write 16 because 16, entire thing, right? 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So 16 is common number, the greatest common factor. And t is also included. What's remaining is 7 times t minus uh, t only over here. Sorry. It's 7 minus t only, okay? This is the final answer. Now that when I see... Uh, 16 table you know 18 96 112 so if you know the tables of 16 you could have directly gone over here you know 16 fives are 80 16 six are 96 16 seven times is 112 so you can you know if you knew the tables 16 is common in both 16 times 7 is 112 and t is removed out and over here you have to divide by 16 t so only t remains don't forget the sign it, that, that's the answer so that's it now then, factor by grouping, what if there are many terms, more than two terms? Now, this is not complicated. We have done three terms as well, but there are different variables. Now, let's see a problem, then you'll understand more easily. Now, say for example, okay, over here also it's written. Can you see these terms? Ax plus bx, Ay plus by. Now, you can see x and x is common, y and y is common, isn't it? so you group them up you group them like this and like this you're not doing anything wrong over here you're just grouping them and you're just taking a common factor from these two terms because x is common over here so you remove x common and a plus b is remaining and now you can see y is common you are removing y out a plus b is remaining now look at it as a whole in the sense this is the plus sign these are two terms right imagine it was x times n plus y times n imagine n is equal to a plus b so i'm just writing this x 
times n y times n n is common so can can't i take n out and what will remain x plus y so what happens a plus b times x plus y so this is what happened over here a plus b is common you can remove it out and you're remaining with x plus y this is how you solve this i will uh, you can do it in another way which i'll show in a while but now look over here if you come like this if you have same terms then just remove those terms and write separately and what is remaining x plus y that will be other term so now if you multiply this using distributed property you are going to get back this entire thing now what if i factor it differently instead of a x and b x i'll take a x and a y because a and a is same right a x plus a y i can write anyhow isn't it plus b x plus b y i should get the same answer if i factor let's see what is common in these both a is common so you're remaining with x plus y and what is common over here b is common you're remaining with x plus y now these x plus y is common so i can remove it out x plus y what are you remaining with that means divide x plus y throughout i mean in both sides you're remaining with a plus b this is your answer yes absolutely that's the same thing you can start multiplying over here x a or you can write it as a x it's anything a times x is a x and b plus b x and a y it's plus a y plus b y you get back the question so it's the same thing what we did so that's the answer now that we will solve some problems you can see 2u v plus 6u plus 5v plus 15 now here it's up to you you can factor these both or these both and or the first two terms and the last two terms you will ultimately get the same answer not to worry now here what they have done is 2u v plus 6u and these two but now what i will do is let me solve it other way let us take 2u v plus 5 as common and then we will take plus 6u plus 15 as common we must get the same answer right so we will start solving okay this is 5v okay have i written everything right yes now 2 and 5 numbers these both are prime you can't take anything out v can be removed out because this is a common term v and you're remaining with 2u plus 5 now what about this only the numbers are common because 3 is divisible in both 3 can be written out common 3 times 2 and u over here plus 3 times 5 is 15 so now you can see 2u plus 5 and 2u plus 5 is common so this can be removed out 2u plus 5 and what is remaining v plus 3 is remaining so this is the answer now you can do it over here they have taken other factors ultimately you will see the answer will be the same that is 2u plus 5 v plus 3 whichever method you consider answer will be the same so grouping the fact common factors then taking out the gcf means greatest common factor and then distributed property now same thing over here please pause the video and try this by yourselves i highly encourage for you to solve it by yourself otherwise you won't be thorough you won't get the speed or the you know tricks and ideas easily so please try this i hope you tried we will look into the answer now okay let me solve it i'll consider these two and these two as it is so over here t is only thing that's common in the first two terms okay please don't forget the negative signs t is common out so w plus 10 is remaining and now what i will do is i will remove a negative sign out because negative and negative is common isn't it and one more thing if i don't remove this negative let me take it only as positive and i'll remove two i'll have sorry i will have minus w minus 10 now look over here are these are these both matching no if the factors over here are not matching you can't simplify them you can't take them common so remove this two out uh, sorry negative sign out negative one times two is negative two so negative is gone this will become positive so make sure you're taking negative two 
outside okay negative 2 and negative 20 over here what happens is first one is negative 2 so you'll have 10 and then 2 it'll be uh, only 10 you know because this is the common factors that's the thing so then now once you have these two fact terms same you can see it is t minus 2 and w plus 10 that will be the answer let's just check it's t minus 2 w plus 10 t minus 2 is the over here the common factors which you removed initially w 10 plus 10 is common in both grouped that's how we do it now okay they have told over here whenever you have 5 minus x you can rewrite this as negative 1 times x minus 5 and that is correct as well why because if you multiply the negative sign inside it'll be minus x times positive 5 okay so you can rearrange this if you want this x to be first it is fine and it is correct so let's see a problem factor 21 m minus 3 mp plus 4 p minus 28 over here you can just directly do it now group them 21 m minus 3 mp and over here 4 p minus 28 now what is common over here 3 is common and m is common so 3 m is removed out you're remaining with 7 and negative p over here because 3m is gone negative and p here 4 is common term 4 is gone minus 4 7 times is 28 now you can see it's not the same 7 minus p and p minus 7 are not the same so what you can do is take a negative 1 outside just multiply the left side uh, what you're doing is you're not uh, doing any wrong you're just manipulating minus one times minus one what does this mean minus one times minus one it's one positive one and you can multiply one will be the same right but now this first minus one you're multiplying over here and the second one over here so it'll be minus seven plus p so i'll write p minus seven that's it or other way we just now saw it in the written thing you can just uh, take minus one outside by rearranging this so you can see this comes first and minus seven you removed a negative sign out just take a negative sign out if you're taking from positive it'll be negative and from negative it'll be positive and now this sign is with minus three m and now you can see p minus 7 p minus 7 are the same thing so you can remove this common out and you're remaining with minus 3m plus 4 p minus 7 so this is the answer you can do it with other factors as well instead of 21 m uh, you can take 21 and 28 and these two see so now they have done it over here alternate solution you can just rearrange them say 4p minus 3mp is taken and 21 m and minus 28 now, if you're solving them, you're going to get P and 7. But see, look over here again. Remember, negative 1 must be taken out uh, from any side. It's fine. You can even remove from here. The answer will be the same. Okay. But over here, it's removed from here. And then it's matched. And the same procedure is followed. So both the answers are same. Ultimately, the answer will be same no matter what. So that's the thing. Uh, this is the final answer okay there's another check problem please do this by yourselves and then check for the answer i hope you have tried now i will try solving it over here i can take these both and also i can take this and this i mean you you can try anyhow you know because we have done different methods but now i'll stick to only the same method this is x square now we here 3 and 33 3 is common negative 3 i've taken negative 3 outside what happens minus 3 is removed out and x squared can be removed out so i have to basically divide everything over here i have to divide by minus 3 x squared both the terms over here it will be only x why because minus 3 and x squared is gone you're remaining with x and here negative sign remains because uh, minus is divided by 3 33 divided by 3 is 11 and x is gone this is one term left side why because this is x squared and that's gone now here only 4 is common so i will write plus 4 4 is gone so you're remaining with x and minus 11 now you can see x minus 11 is there in both the sides and what's remaining minus 3x squared plus 4 so this must be your final answer minus okay now this is the same thing but over here what has happened 
they have minus x plus 11 minus 3 i'll tell you how to do this now you can remove a negative one from here if i remove a negative one really this must this is more appropriate answer other than this but anyways we can get this to this answer i'll just erase this now this is also correct not to worry it depends on your option imagine this option is not there this option is there so what you need to do is remove a negative sign like negative one from here what happens you will get minus x plus 11 the signs change right and this remains same minus 3x squared plus 4 now multiply this negative one not over here with the second term so you will have the first term as minus x plus 11 this next term becomes 3x squared minus 4 and this is your answer see this is the one it's the same thing it's just rearranging few stuff and manipulating it now that is the final answer and that's the final question as well so thank you for this uh, watching this video i hope you all learned something new and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel you can scan this link and do subscribe it would mean a lot and subscribing is free for you guys but it would mean a lot for me thank you and see you soon in the next video